It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads, Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,995, recorded Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024. Lamp on a clamp. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Diggy D has a what the heck is it? We get to find out what the heck was it, and we get to find out what the heck is my new theme for the crappy corner. All of this is next. I guess you'll just have to find out. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the gizmos because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the gizwiz now. Now, now. and here he is. Our surging gadgeteer, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Diggy D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very. Are you good. all set for the Fourth of July? <laughs> yes, I am. I I have a plan. I, I it is maximum fireworks, um, and and I'm I'm gonna commit to it. Yeah, tonight I'm gonna do fireworks. At uh, Magic Kingdom, and then oh great! The next night, I'm gonna do fireworks at Epcot because Magic Kingdom has their Fourth of July fireworks on the third, but not and the fourth. But Epcot only has them on the fourth, so I can hit both shows. Oh wow! And be maximum patriotic. Yeah. Excellent, no, no. excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Um... For the first time in ten years, Macy's has moved the fireworks back to the Hudson River, but they've moved them down river a bit. So the last barge is at 34th Street. What? And we are at 82nd Street. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'll take them at home, but my guess is if we walk to the river, we'll still see a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so 50, 40, 60, what is math? Blocks? It, it, it's, um, it's too, it, it, it's, Two and a half miles away. Oh, so yeah, it, it's I it's think a, it'll it's be pretty way big. Way. I think that'll be pretty big. I think yeah. you'll definitely that'll be good. Um, just to, I'm curious, you just bringing up the Hudson. Any any movement on the boat basin cafe at all? Oh, nothing. No, no, they the last the last time they still haven't agreed on what it should look like. And I believe <laughs> when they were they supposed it, to have done that two years ago? Uh, yeah. Well, they were originally said we'll have a new marina by 2025. Okay. <laughs> so, wow. Now they're saying oh, it'll be if, finished soon. soon. Hooray! Uh, if we get this third uh, plan approved uh, in August, the marina construction might be finished. Mid 2027, uh, uh, which would mean the marina might open in 2028. So it will have been seven years since they closed it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And meanwhile, nothing is done. The marina just sits there. Right. You could. You yeah. could. I could have been there. Have I could have been it. there. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you could have been making money for five years. Yeah, eh? yeah. Um, that's crazy. Uh, any any other Fourth of July? Do you have any? I don't really have Fourth of July traditions. Yeah, no, I, I I do not either. It's just the fireworks and pretty much that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I agree. I agree. Um, okay. Well, it is the I love the changeover of a month. Because we get to see, you know, we get a new theme. But also, the changeover of an even month is even better. Because it will always be what the heck was it. You know, we get to find out. So at the end of the yes. show, hang around a for exactly, finding out exactly. what the gadget yes. was. And, and the monthly new theme, uh, I'm anxious to guess. I guess my batting average has been sort of average about guessing what the chat room will have said. Um, but in the meanwhile, um, we'll look at some gadgets. Let's do it. Uh, gadget number one. 
It's July, school is out, but it's also the time reporters start thinking about looking for back-to-school gadgets. Uh, I do a spot for ABC. I found something on Amazon. It was 20 bucks, and I looked at it, and I thought, this is great, but who made it? And then I took a second look. Uh, 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 anchor. <laughs> okay. And then, and then I already took it out of the bag to save time. So this is pretty neat. Okay. Talk about a heavy duty plug and plug is kind of uh, flat, but look at one, two, three, four, ah, five, six, ah, seven, eight. Okay. Eight uh, plugs and nicely spaced uh, for transformer plugs in the front. Two USB-A charging ports, one USB-C charging port, and I believe it's uh, 20 watts. Uh, so that if you're charging your phone, you want fast charging. Uh, use the USB-C up at the top. We don't have it plugged in. Two uh, surge protection lets you know that this is grounded. That'll light up. And also grounded protection. Uh, grounded protection will show you that you have the three uh, wires. And surge protection, it'll be green to tell you that it's on. And a little on-off switch. And as I said, 20 bucks. Uh, in the back. Slots in case you want to wall mount it. And even the two wall mounting screws, mini instruction manual, although this is pretty clear what it does. But I've never seen this before on an anchor. Actually, I was going to say I never saw it on an anchor gadget. I don't think I've seen it on any gadget. Okay. This is kind of interesting. I'll show you this again. Just take one quick look. Heavy-duty extension, heavy-duty plug. But if you want to wall mount this for $22, you can get a different version. So the front of the unit is exactly the same. But if you're going to mount it, you can order this flat wire extension and oh. a thin flat plug. And that's only $2 more. So $19.99 for it with the big extension and the heavy duty plug and $21.99 for the thin wire and the very thin plug, I guess for behind desks or filing cabinets or the couch. Um, I think it's a really neat thing from Anchor. I agree. Uh, just a surge protector, but a good one. Really yeah, and, and very compact, and you can plug stuff in all over the place. But you know what? It went up. I did. 27 bucks now. Oh, my. Wow, God. look at this. If you want it in a different color, more expensive. Oh, you know what? Did you use uh, the link I sent you? I think, I, yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Okay. Of yeah. course, it turned out that. I went to it once and it was twenty uh, nineteen ninety nine. Then I went to it again and it was this. Say wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wow. I think I you save eight bucks by joining Prime. Look at that. Oh, see, some, not, it's because I, I don't like to be signed in on the show. So yeah, no, that's good. That's so good. Save you save four fifteen bucks with Prime. And then it's talking about the delivery, but eight bucks is the is that it's like okay, you know. that's right. So if you're prime, you'll still get it for twenty bucks. If right. you're not, it's okay, okay. Right. So yeah, there's that uh, but, flat one you're talking about. That is yeah. cool. That is like have you flattest. ever seen that before? Where they sell the same thing and with a flat plug version? No, or? I mean I've seen flat plugs before, but never the flat version of a yeah. thing. And also, know? I I that is a I like that cord and I love that plug because yeah. that'll really hug the wall. Yeah. I mean, I remember uh, I, had a, I had a friend who had a uh, futon and they were like, every time we lower the futon, we have to unplug what is in the wall <laughs> <laughs> and then put the futon. And then once it's down, you can plug it back in. But make sure you unplug 
oh, oh, that's futon right. down plug. And if it had that flat thing, I don't think they'd have to, remembering their apartment, I don't think you'd have to do that. Yeah. I should have told them. There's a better way. In 2024, Coming. Coming. Yes. there yeah. will be a better way. Yes, um, exactly, exactly. That's really cool. Yeah. And uh, it comes with a, a I, I never understood the thing, a $200,000 connected equipment warranty, Whew. probably with about nine pages of uh, is, I should I should pl- wait for a lightning storm. Yes, exactly. That one side, Tesla into the other. Yeah. New car. Exactly. Zap, new car, done. Uh, follow the instructions. Make sure it's exactly correct. Recording everything. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else to say? Or should uh, we... No, no. Uh, I found another gadget that would be back to school or for... Anyway, it's kind of a neat lamp, so take a peek. The last desk lamp I bought was a big, wide desk lamp. Big enough to light the entire desk under my 27-inch wide monitor. But that was months ago. And you know, LED lamps, how long can they last? So it was time (laughs) to buy another one. And the reason I bought this is because whenever I see something really unusual, I think this would be good for the Giz Whiz. And it's a double LED lamp. All right. Oh, the middle arm has wide. LEDs in it? Yes. Oh. It, it's, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> we will find out. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Another one of those lamps. I like these big bracket lamps that clamp to the side of the desk. So you don't need a big base for the lamp. That gives well, you a Scooter X more. is mirroring your exact uh, sentiment. Space. With a lamp. With a clamp. Oh. Powered by USB C. Oh. This is the first. I've USB-C never seen this either. I've seen. <laughs> I've seen. Okay. Technology just and keeps on rolling. Uh, what? Yeah. Instructions. I can't believe USB has become the default low voltage DC connector. Yeah. See, so what's different about this is this lights up and that lights up. Okay, and I can see now that this one is slightly shorter than that one. All right, so let's put this on the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you know what? That lamp is going to be in the way. So I clamped it onto the desk, and it turns out we don't have to move this light out of the way because this entire thing. Gosh, that looks so solid. So I like that. I'm going to tighten it a little more. That looks like the perfect lamp for doing like product reviews. (sighs) Yes, yeah. And so I can lean forward. Uh, Power. Oh, okay. Look at, so we have power. Dennis is trying to back up. He's, of course, he's hard up against my desk. Right. Can't go any wider. Two. One off. All right, so you can decide if you want one on or both on, and you can decide if you want this one lit or that one lit or them both. So let's light both of them for now. And then you can go into, wow, whoa. You can probably not see. Well, you can probably. Do you see it dimming in the camera? The camera's going to probably flatten that out quite a bit. So you have warm white, natural white, cool white, and daylight. You have five brightnesses. You can either do clicks and do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Or you can, uh, which is brightness. Uh, uh, uh. You can hold it in and you'll get seamless dimming. Okay. It goes brighter, dimmer, and then starts up to brighter and and dimmer. Kind of a silly timer. Uh, You click it once for 15 minutes and click it twice for 30 minutes. 
and it will shut the lamp off. I'm not quite sure. I guess it's like uh, a, sn- a night time. Yeah, yeah maybe, may, yes. You know, this is really nice. I think for a work area where maybe you have a long table, you know, they just bend down. No, <laughs> it probably bends down and breaks. Uh, so you can do that. And, oh, these turn. Oh, what? Oh, wow. You know, that seems like the perfect thing. studio light. Like, yeah. You might be able to use this for some sort of lighting. Yeah, lighting. Like, if you were like down here. I don't know. Uh, price wise, it was uh, um, really reasonable. Twenty nine, thirty bucks for a lamp. And right now, there's a fifteen percent coupon. Uh, thirty three dollars, four fifty. So what is that? Twenty five fifty or twenty six fifty for this lamp, and it has a believable name, Shine Tech. Okay, a name you can say, but is it a name you can trust? I think so. I'm ready for my close up now, Mister Demel. Yes. <laughs> Now the, the uh, this afternoon the price has changed again. Ah, uh, what? Not again. Yeah, uh, but it comes out to be the same thing. Now they're saying it's fifty dollars, but half off. Or do you? Uh, are you? Are you not signed in? Maybe they'll show something totally different. Here, yeah, exactly. Right? Who knows? No. Look at that. Oh, forty dollars. Oh, twenty dollars. <laughs> it's twenty bucks now. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> that is crazy. 50% off, 40 bucks. Off 40 bucks. I can't believe that. So this this middle part does bend, but it stops. Really, it doesn't bend far. Wait, say it again. It bends? This, like, uh, the middle, the auxiliary light, too. Right. It doesn't bend that far over, but it will bend a bit. Oh, wait, uh, well, wait a minute. When you when it comes out of the box, oh wait, it's like when it comes out of the box, it's this way, so it can bend a lot. Oh, oh, okay, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I see. And then the top one <clears throat> also swivels. <laughs> it's like this is just. That is honestly, if you ever need it, you wanted, you were thinking like, I need a ring light, that instead of a ring light. Yeah. Any day. Buy two of them for 40 bucks, you would have a real, like, great two point lighting. And exactly. Then get a Dim- spotlight for your back. Dimmable the way you want it. Yeah. Uh, four different temperatures. Crazy. That's. Yeah. That's uh, that is it. That's what we call a good lamp. That's a good <laughs> lamp right there. It's a good lamp. Um, I, I I mean got good reviews. I don't think there's anything else to say. We told, no. we've told well. I guess it got good reviews. Oh, it's only place. five. Only five people. Yes. I guess um, they don't. The, they're not quite sure how to price it because the price keeps yeah. changing. So crazy. Everybody buy it now and then yeah. don't buy it. Boy, Go boy, he need a lamp for 20 bucks. That is I was with, I was wondering if it if it uh did um like that UV like it was a plant light. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. so. No. I, don't think so. I was wondering. It, I was like it looks so bright when it was on. Oh, it when like, it went bright, I thought it and then when I thought the camera's going to level this out, I thought this shift in brightness, the camera's not going to be able to make that look all the same color. You can tell that the lamp is working yeah, to do definitely, it. Definitely, definitely. Okay, well, cool. The uh, d- dual foldable, bendable, mountable LED, cha- right. color changeable, dim- dimmable <laughs> lamp. Exactly. Exactly. And now a very, very strange, what the heck is it? Ooh. All right. What the heck is it? What uh, is uh, it? Uh, 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 um. Um. 
Dennis. A mini uh, microphone. A mini battery operated microphone. What? Battery, okay. A comb? Does it now, for air? I have this also. Uh, Two microphones. <laughs> is um, it? Okay. No way. It is. You are correct. Uh, what? No, I didn't even believe myself. Hair oh. color Ooh. comb. Now it <coughs> oh, says I kids, but on the website it shows women, men with long hair. I often thought about uh, coloring my mustache. That was a complete shot in the dark. Oh, wait a minute. From me. Um, Does it come in brown? This is an apron. Oh. In here, the fact that you get this means it's probably going to be messy. <laughs> oh, I, when I when I opened the package, I tore it. But even well, where do you put your hand? Why don't you just tuck it into your neck? Oh, okay, I will do that. Oh, that's a good. I think now that there's, there's a cutout where your neck would be, so it would go over your shoulder. And gloves. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're not taking any chances. All right. Hair mm -mm -mm. chalk. Wet the hair. However, if you're blonde, don't wet the hair. Unless you want the color to stay longer. Set it later with a hair dryer and finalize with gel. Wow. And it says to get it off, shampoo your hair. But it also says use makeup remover to get it off your skin. Hence, the gloves. The gloves it also mentions the uh, cosplay. So if you, you know, big into dressing up and stuff for Comic Con, this might be. So annoyed, I bought a makeup mirror with Hollywood lights. Whoa! And it doesn't work. <laughs> but I want to use it. I put a new battery in too. Okay. Huh? Oh. I'll, I'll just do it. No, nothing, right? I thought my stash was going to turn instantly pink. Yeah. It's a sign of anything? Nothing. Nothing. Sims, Sims to Rachel says you have to wet your You're hair. You're absolutely right. All right. I wet my hair a little bit. And I went to purple. You know, maybe you need to have thick hair. Huh. I could just be blazing. A bit of purple, maybe? Yeah, it's doing it. Okay. Does it look attractive? <laughs> Do it's I look good in purple? No, it's not. <laughs> it is. I can see in the camera it looks purple. <laughs> I wonder if you need to like really get the chalk go like run the chalk under. Yeah, yeah I think I'm not oh, doing oh, it's it. It's very purple now. It is. Yeah, it is depositing something, but oh, not very. It is, but I think I think maybe my mustache is a, not thick um, like hair hair. Well, where do you see the video? All right. Wow. So you said your hair will be dry and like hay once you've used the product. So we'll see. It does say that. Yeah. Huh. I, it's, it's not the fun that I thought it would be. Well, in the video, it looks better. It does look better in the video? Okay. I just uh, hope you can get it out. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's God, very people cheap, seem to okay? know stuff. Lumpy said so purple is, is best with well gray. On Amazon, <laughs> there are lots of companies making different versions of this stuff. So evidently, it's a thing. I mean, maybe... Maybe uh, audience, a chat room. Do you know about this? Have you been doing this? So do. less dramatic than I thought. Dennis said it looks better in the camera. Uh, by the time the show, we do the show, I will have tried to get the color out, and I'll let you know how that went. But for a fun project for kids to color their hair, um, this might be something, okay? Maybe one kid should try it <laughs> before everybody does. Um, fortunately, I didn't get any on me. All right. Um, see that smile. <laughs> before or after before. Yeah. So Rachel says hair wax is better. I, I've never. Did you ever hear of uh, 
Hair chalk. <laughs> I have I have heard of hair chalk. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, I have not seen that gadget, that applicator comb thing. I've never seen that. Um, when I got hair chalk, uh, this would have been like, I mean, it's been around for a while. It's because it's, it's way less permanent than, you Oh, know. yeah. I, I mean, I, I, you know, my stash almost looks purple in that month. A little bit, yeah. I think it's like... Uh, yeah. The lights but, and things. But, uh, I sh oh, yeah, okay. I shampooed it and, and it came out. Yeah, uh, easily. Yeah, Michael yeah. said I never heard of this. Yeah, I, I have I have heard of hair chalk okay. before. Uh, definitely not that comb thing. Um, honestly, I remember having kind of the same results. Is that I was underwhelmed? Is that I was like, this is like I'm rubbing chalk into my hair. Yes, and it's not that comfortable, and it's not applying that much color. Like that's exactly what I remember. Yeah, um, hair wax. So do you melt it in? Yeah, here, let's take a look at that. Hair yeah, wax. A, oh, my gosh. Interesting. Boy, that, but you know what? That looks messy. Here, let's look at some, let's see if there's photos. I feel like, like, is that as, is that as blue as it gets? So yeah, that's oh pretty my, cool. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. And that's actually really good in also in a dark hair, like getting that. Yeah. In dark, oh yes, it, 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 the uh, getting the color to show chalk, up in dark yes, hair is hard. Yeah, the hair color chalk said, if your hair is dark, you have to use a ton of it. Yeah, if talk you're about blonde, messy. <clears throat> it's really easy to color your hair. I think you just have to accept the mess. <laughs> yes, I think so. You know, I don't think there's. See, this, uh, if that's as much as this uh, person used, you can see that it maybe if they used a lot more, yeah. they would have gotten a. a but that, I'm I'm shocked by that. Just looking at that, this is a cool. This is another cool gadget. Diggity, you gotta get, you gotta get uh, hair wax next. We tried chalk. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta try hair wax. Oh, since the Rachel said it, it is a bit messy, but it washes right off. Oh, that's cool. That's so. really cool. Okay, well, with that, let's move to... Not that, you this. Know you no, not that. It, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, a new month, so a new theme for the Crappy Corner. Of course, we let it be let in the hands of the patrons, the, the fate is left to the patrons. They okay. are messing with me, okay? I think all the patrons got together and they have a group chat and they are conspiring against us. So this is my only theory because for two months in a row, it has been tied. Oh my gosh. I think they okay. are, cons what they the are conspiring against us. Uh, okay, so here are the choices. Uh, suggested, uh, all these choices were suggested by our patrons. Music gadgets, uh, so this could be things that make music, uh, things that will help you make music, so gadgets for, like, playing an instrument, or just straight-up oh, instruments, okay. you know, that type of thing. Um, pet gadgets, so... Oh, they'll be interested in Of course. That. Okay. Uh, and then summer backyard gadgets. Now, I took OMG Mom's suggestion of firework alternative gadgets and i had just expanded that to be just summer beach back or not oh, beach okay. summer backyard party summer backyard party uh so okay. think of barbecue what was stuff. the very first one because i think the music, first one did music not do gadgets. well music. oh okay i think backyard one you think backyard one <clears throat> currently the results are this 34 percent 30 percent 36 percent when I looked wow. at it, there was a winner, and it was flipped. It was 36, 30, 34. So when I looked at it, music gadgets were winning. It has what? switched to be summer backyard gadgets, but up until, like, I for, like, hour, an hour or so, it was locked. It was 
dead tied and it got to an hour and a half before the show and I was like, I gotta call it. So, music gadgets, here, let me. One? One! But it doesn't oh show it. So, you, so I wrote a comment, you can see two hours ago, I wrote a comment. It's about one and a half hours of the show, I'm gonna call it, music wins! But it has such since sw switched. Okay. So backyard so, music. So you, you know what we could do out. is this week we could do music, and then next week we could do backyard. Yeah, you could. Let's do that. that makes sense. Let's do that. Let's, I think that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. Next, from the next three, we'll do uh, as summer backyard party gadgets. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So. So you uh, had to run out and buy something in an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Because I my procrastinate. You know. When you're a procrastinator, you do things efficiently. That's wow. what you got to learn. Wow. Yeah, my own fault. It was a it was a situation of my own making, but uh, but yeah, we did it. So uh, I have a uh, a video, and uh, here it is. Hey, Diggy D. So as we know, the category is music gadgets, and I went out and picked up. This insane DJ set. It is the uh, V Tech Kitty Star DJ Mixer. The first thing that I saw was this like crazy LED light thing on the top. This seemed the most Gizwiz ish uh, <laughs> like thing that ever existed. Um, so as we uh, can take a look, V Tech. We've we, I kind of know this brand. It's a uh, younger kid brand like this is going to be like almost like learning uh, capabilities uh, so inside of here are some of the features 15 built-in songs we have over 2,000 combinations a DJ turntable as you can see uh, you can connect it wired or wireless record your songs create stuff party things, music, and a built-in speaker, and as you can see, Bluetooth. Uh, looking at the keypad, tons of keys, little knobs, you get little volume things, lights, which I uh, assume controls this, and even a crazy digital screen. Try me. I really want to, oh. Oh, wow. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Oh. There we go. Okay. That's enough. See you later. Let's get this thing um, unpackaged. Just a, a look at the back. Uh, I'm gonna get it all out of this packaging and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so out of the packaging, here it is. Uh, I will say that the instructions didn't have really anything about how to play it. I think you're just kind of <laughs> supposed to discover it. Uh, just really how to install the batteries and to get it out of the try me mode. Um, so, there are some options for some line-in sources, vocals, line-in, Bluetooth, and then a Bluetooth button, which is kind of cool. Wow. Uh, that's the power button. And you really have three different modes to choose between. The DJ party mode, studio mode, and academy mode. And DJ party mode, uh, you're making music. You know, you're, you're making... Choo -choo 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 -choo. And then over here, you have this like pad that you can kind of change the drums and the snare and some of these different beats. So the song is this one thing, and then I might change an instrument or turn off instruments just down to one. Whoa. And then and you can obviously you have volume. We'll add two instruments in there, three instruments in there. Also, you can change the tempo, make it faster, make it slower, custom at, uh, sound effects, which are already in here as like, here, let me, uh, I don't know if I can turn off. There we go. And you also have them up here. Um, so that's how you're making music in DJ party mode. Over here in studio mode, uh, so it's not playing anything uh, anymore, you have record and play. If we choose record, choose track you, want to record. you have three tracks to choose uh, between. When you hit OK, when you're done, press the OK button. You could hit OK again to stop recording. And basically, you're just using this pad over here to build a song and play around. And then when you're happy with it, 
you know, this can go on for a few minutes. Hit OK. Now, if you'd like to listen to that, go to play. The track you want to play. We have our nine second song. We hit OK and play it. Kind of fun. In Academy mode. Follow the beat. Remember the pattern, then repeat it. It's basically like assignment. It's games. These are all uh, games. Okay, so let's go back to DJ Party Mode. I'm just going to turn it down. Uh, this light at the top is pretty cool. Uh, it does turn on uh, with this and turn off with uh, this. You just basically have these little light controls here. Uh, when it's on, you also have this little like spin button. And that uh, operates a motor inside of the party light. So not only do you get the changing of the RGB, but you also get a motor uh, that spins wow. around, which is kind of fun. Um, it just spins like not quite one time, almost more than one time, uh, and then stops, which is uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, and that's basically it. You can also, I, I guess I didn't cover, but you can change the track uh, over here if you want like the back, uh, back uh, background thing. Anyway, um, I think this is a fun uh, toy to kind of play around with. Obviously, this is, this is aimed for younger. Uh, this is not something uh, that a, a professional like myself would be playing uh, five years, five and up, uh, as uh, the box says. Um, and then uh, two more things to cover is that this is where your aux in, and you do have a, a, a DC in, and then you also have a headphone jack uh, at the bottom there. Feels very sturdy, feels very nice, so uh, it's kind of cool. There you go, the VTech. Kitty Star <clears throat> DJ Mixer for that aspiring DJ. Uh, the the six-year-old parties are gonna go are gonna be crazy with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. think it's pretty neat. Isn't it crazy it's now? Got... One thing I forgot to mention in all that, the price. Oh, uh, it's gotta be like at least 50 bucks, right? <sighs> Spot on. 50 bucks is exactly uh what it costs. So it is oh, cool. Okay. But uh, it's not it's not you know just a twenty dollar gadget. It is a no. $50 it does gadget. a lot. Yeah, it does. It does an awful lot. Um, one thing I did notice is that my songs that I recorded in between you know my sessions completely deleted once you hit the power button. <laughs> So, oh. <laughs> so you know, it is a kid's toy, right? There, you're not, don't, no memories are really going to be made with this thing. Um, so, uh, so like, keep that in mind. You know, it's, it really isn't. It, it, it's weird that it like, kind of feels professional. Yeah. Like it, it, like the turntable feels really satisfying. The buttons really satisfying. Uh, but it is just a toy. Um, <laughs> And yeah, no, really, I don't think there's much else uh, to say about it. 50 bucks, Walmart. You too can get it within an hour and a half of the show uh, if you forgot to put up the <laughs> Patreon poll. Uh, oh, okay. So there you go. <laughs> um, that's it. Okay, so uh, it will be moving forward. It actually, based off of the... Um, uh, the how the patrons ended up with the poll, we will move to backyard party gadgets uh, moving forward. Uh, so that'll be a fun month. Thank you, patrons. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Fun. Fun. Okay, our email is from. Oh, what did I do with his name? Uh, um. Okay. That guy! Oh, Brian, uh, Brian Fields. <laughs> I, 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 it's on two different sheets. Uh, Brian Fields says a little video I made on a trip to the Parade of Steam. Ooh. At Cass Scenic Railway in Cass, West Virginia. If you don't see it as a gadget, it's okay. You don't have to use it. But I want to use it because it's about Shea locomotives. Now, do you know what a Shea locomotive is? Shea? Now, when you asked you asked me before the show, and I, and I like when you first the I think the reason that the, 
you asked me, and then I think it like triggered a thing in my head. It was like, okay, the fact that you're asking me probably means that it's this. I remember there was a locomotive brand that the engineering of the locomotive itself set, it was like the boiler could hold hotter steam or more pressure or something. The way the locomotive worked, it made it special. Is that's okay. what is in my mind. Okay, you are correct. The okay. Shea is a totally different, it looks nothing like a steam locomotive. I, that's why I'm running the video. I, it, it is so weirdly built. Uh, well, let's look at uh, Brian's video. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm not hearing his audio. Oh. Hello, Dick. That's Chad. my bad. One second. You'll my fellow gives his viewers. Brian here. I want to share with you a gadget. It's not actually my gadget, but it's a gadget I get to enjoy from time to time. This is a Shea locomotive. What makes it unique is that it's a geared locomotive. There are three vertical pistons that turn a drive shaft that is connected to each axle with a gear. This locomotive is propelled by all the wheels, even the ones on the tender. This makes them ideal for steep inclines, and this locomotive was used to haul timber out of the mountains of West Virginia. Whoa. I am not sure if any of this information is accurate because I've been told conflicting things. Over the, years. the Shea locomotives were built in Lima, Ohio, starting in 1880, and production went through to the 1920s. Somewhere between 2,700 and 3,400 locomotives were built. The models varied through production, and many were custom built for customer specifications. Probably fewer than 100 are still running today. Cass Scenic Railroad in West Virginia has the largest collection of running locomotives. There are five in use here, and I've been told there's enough parts. Rebuild two more. Because of the gearing, these are not fast. My daughter says that they are a slow train that goes nowhere. <laughs> They run very slow, but they can go up incredible inclines. They have a tremendous amount of power because every single wheel is driven. I hope you enjoyed my driven. video. If you're in West Virginia, I hope you get the chance to stop by Cass and take a ride on a train powered by one of these locomotives. That is insane. That is insane. I just realized, did you never get the audio of him? Uh, uh, toward the end, I did. Okay, okay. I, I heard a lot of the audio, and then it dropped out for a while, and then okay, it came okay. back. That is crazy. So basically, it has a lot of torque. It has a ton of yeah, torque. A ton of torque, exactly. That's crazy how the wheels, each in, it had that mechanism so that each one, that was, <laughs> the, I can't, the drivetrain, you know, I always think of a, locomotive and you think of the drivetrain is that thing right on the outside the pistons, like, yeah <laughs> you know it's like crazy to see oh my gosh that's crazy <clears throat> yeah yeah and it is... even extends to the wheels on the coal uh, on the coal tender are also driven to give it more power they i can't imagine the logging he... <laughs> in logging camps because they could right carry tons of uh right freight Right, they they'd carry so much that, that, that yeah they have to get it up. Uh, you know you you pack a thing with tons of logs and now you need to get it up a hill. Yeah. They don't care if it and goes slow. The, the they just need it. it to move. <laughs> man, man, oh man, that is cool. Uh, a Shea locomotive. That is quite the gadget. Okay, well, thank you uh, for that. Uh, Brian, Brian Fields, yeah, Brian. if you want to make a video, okay, this is sort of an exception um, because Shea locomotives are so unusual and I love trains so much. Uh, make a video of a gadget you own, you use, you have in the garage, you have down the cellar, any kind of a gadget, something you love, something you hate. Uh, one to three minutes, like Brian, just make sure it's horizontal format. And we can uh, hear your dialogue talking about it. Put it up on YouTube. When you upload it, there's a drop-down menu. Click unlisted. That way, only people with the URL will be able to watch your video. And you can send that to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. 
And if we use your video, we use 99% of them. Or you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you. If you live overseas, I will autograph a 40-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo and uh, take a picture of it and send you a high-res image with your name autographed to you. And you can print it out at your end. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it! And... Uh, listen, our gadget can be trained, you know? Gadget is a <laughs> loose category. If you're feeling inspired, be inspired. We, we'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll, we'll take a look. Uh, okay, with that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, okay, our letter is, it's, it's, it's fascinating how old some technology is. Uh, hi, Dick and Chad, your latest episode where you took another look at water-activated batteries for flashlights reminded me of my high school days in the 1970s. I had a Harley-Davidson motorcycle that was always breaking down. <laughs> This model had a six volt battery recharged with a generator, not an alternator. At one point, the generator went bad. Uh, I could not afford to replace it. Uh, I decided to look around to see if I could have a solution. Fortunately, at the time, I lived in Los Alamos <laughs> and it was a salvage yard filled with stuff from labs. Hopefully One it wasn't radioactive. <laughs> was a batch of water activated batteries designed for weather balloons. Huh. I discovered they would run the bike for several hours before they were exhausted. So all I needed to do was bring along a water bottle <laughs> and several spare batteries. <laughs> I was, as I recall, the batteries cost me less than a dollar each. Gas was 25 cents a gallon. So I was able to ride back trails for several months before I saved up enough money to get my generator fixed. Keep up the good job, Michael Prime. That is so, so look at funny. In the 70s. I, feel, I have was, a theory that everything awesome was invented in the 70s. And we just <laughs> gave up after that. <laughs> Uh, you know, they went, let's just start, let's start inventing. That was when engineering was real, was the yeah. 70s. That's but amazing. imagine having a junkyard like that where you could go and say, <laughs> let me see if I need some rocket parts. <laughs> ah, oh, the old weather balloon. You know, this is why I feel like I see some crazy videos of Russia, but they all seem to be like junkyards and stuff together. Like that type of engineering mind of like, oh, that's a battery, that's water powered. Let's just attach it over here to this thing. It's working. I feel like yeah. we've lost that. I feel like, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't know where to begin. You hand me a water powered battery. I would say, I wish it was an anchor brand and that it, it worked with USB-C. <laughs> Uh, that is really cool. Yeah. That is that is really neat. Um, I was just thinking, if you if you build a submarine, just leave some holes in it and put water batteries in it. The things would run for you know. The, you don't need nuclear power. Just drop it in the water; it'll run. <laughs> yeah, that is hilarious. That is yeah. really really funny. I, I I'm uh, shocked also that the that like I thought this reusable like redunk it. Thing was new. He's saying yeah, I used to just fill it up with new Tra water all the time. Yeah, travel with a bottle of water. Yeah, I bet he didn't even need to use distilled. <laughs> I bet it probably had lead in it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. Yeah, uh, that's great. What a great story. That is a really uh, Michael. That is yeah. People yeah. are really unbelievable by that. Unbelievable, yeah. but also I believe it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, that letter. Also, thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Even if they have this dubious plan to always tie the results, I'm watching y'all patrons. Uh, 
We love them. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for uh, the support, you patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you like the show, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz or our website, gizwiz.tv. Once you're there, click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website. Big old banner that'll take you there. Also, there is a little PayPal link if you want to give uh, one time. You can also even set up a recurring donation through PayPal if you prefer uh, there. Uh, thanks so much to everybody who supports us. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday. We are recording on a Wednesday to accommodate July 4th. Uh, but uh, back to the normal schedule next week. If there are any schedule changes, uh, it'll be at the top of the website. Uh, gizwiz.tv. Uh, but typically, uh, Thursdays, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, whenever we're live, the website will just update with the live stream. Join the chat room, chat along with everybody, because they are fantastic, fantastic group of folks uh, there in the chat room. Uh, so, And they're here. Uh, they deal with our scheduling mishaps all the time, so we, uh, we have to appreciate that. Uh, gizwiz.biz is Diggy D's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're ever needing a, a link back to a gadget, uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz and we get to find out. I hope you've stayed until the end. What the heck was it? <laughs> okay, let me let me see here. Let me. Uh, a lot of people knew. A lot. Of, I was surprised how many people knew. Is it a jar opener? No. I, uh, oh, uh, uh, that's not your website. Here we go. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, uh, that. I thought it was a jar opener. I thought it was like a okay. silicone. You like press the top and then you like use the green thingy to twist. No, it is a scroll up. Not, it not, is a not. poster measurer. Oh, I was just wrong. You dial oh. that to one portion, two portions, and it opens up a shutter. Uh -huh. and, and then you oh. stick that much pasta in it. I had no idea. Yeah. I had that so there were, completely stumped. Let me see if I can show you like an idea of what I thought it was. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that is so funny. Literally, I remember these old just rubber jar openers. They're just like a piece of rubber. Oh, 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 I see. And I thought you just use friction to press the si uh, silicone ring. Oh, your thing. Okay. I thought this was a silicone ring right here. Yes, yes. And then you'd use this as just leverage, you know, wrap your fingers around it and press, and then get a jar open. That is so funny. But wow. then, we, yeah. we, uh, let's take a look at the let's cute, clever answers here. I'll read them off your screen. Sure. Uh, just go down a oh, bit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry. Um, newfangled toilet seat with a, a paper holder. A modern-day pacifier that keeps track of how much time the baby's been using it. A <laughs> uh, life preserver with... Uh, chi. chi. Chi charging. Yeah. Uh, uh, inductive power technology. Under the toilet seat bowl illuminator. Ah. It almost like could that. be a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. I see. I, I, I. Hula hoop for people you don't want... Uh, for other people you don't <laughs> want to get too close to you. That, that rod good. sticking out would knock them away. Monocle with a command strip. <laughs> a light-up dolly, a, a light-up diet lollipop. The big hole in the center. I like doll diet lollipop. That is funny. Yeah. It means that there's half the calories. <laughs> Short-handed magnifying glass. A bubble wand. It could be that, too. So I think we picked 13 winners because we couldn't get it down to 12. That's oh, I, I, I like that. Uh, uh, um, a submarine porthole looking out at the murky depths, which <laughs> it sort of looks like that, too. Kind of does. Isn't it? Yeah. It does. A porthole. Wow, it's mucky out there. Oh, Look man. At that. Oh, we need to turn on the outside lights on the submarine. We can't see a thing. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is great. Okay, well, now... I, so I was stumped. I can't believe it. 
Stumped. Fully stumped. Okay, here's the next. What the heck is it? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. What? What the? What the heck? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, this is uh, is obvious to me. Yeah. That these uh, these are the. Uh, have you heard, have you heard of a deer guard? Deer, yeah. Deer, it's deer guard handlebars for a bike. Deer guard handlebars. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Deal deer deer guard handlebars. Yeah. Okay. You can send that in. Yeah. Deer guard handlebars. Uh, sorry to give it away. Uh, but if you think <laughs> you know what it is, get a guess in over at Gizwiz dot biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers. Twelve mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. This is the entire gadget. Not just a piece or part removed. If you've never heard of what the heck is it, now you do. So get over there uh, and uh, and play. Okay, that wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>